Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and thank you so so much for tuning in with me today. So in today's video I wanted to introduce a new series to my channel where I'm basically browsing through the new releases in the beauty world and I'm gonna let you know do I think it's hot or not? Meaning is this release actually sparking a fire in me? Or is it leaving me ice cold, meaning I couldn't care less? And I know that this concept of sharing beauty news is definitely not a new concept here on YouTube, but I always wanted to do this kind of video myself and I'm really gonna try and do this on a weekly basis. So I'm gonna have a look through all of the new makeup releases that were released like a week prior to when I'm filming. I'm filming on a Friday so hopefully I can get this out on a Saturday. So you guys have something to watch over the weekend as well and if something has been announced after I'm filming it's going to be most likely in the next week's episode. So I really hope you are going to enjoy this video and the concept of hot or not. I just kind of wanted to give it my little twist with the hot or not thing, but please again, don't take this too serious. This is solely my opinion. So if you do enjoy something that I might not like at all, you know, I love it for you. Everyone has their own preferences, especially when it comes to makeup, beauty, you know, everyone has their own taste. And I just want to share, you know, my kind of thoughts with you in today's video. So if you do enjoy this type of video, why not give it a thumbs up? And also if this is your very first time on here, or in case you just have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you could hit the subscribe button, stick on here a little bit longer, and also don't forget to ring the bell in order to get notified about my upcoming videos. Videos. So obviously my main source when it comes to any type of beauty related content is most definitely on Instagram and I do follow a couple of profiles on there that are dedicated to actively posting the brand new makeup and beauty releases. So I'm going to be referring to those, I'm also going to be linking them in my description box down below. And also before we are starting, please do not forget to actually drop me a comment down below. Is there anything in today's video that triggers your interest, you know? Do you find something really hot or are you just kind of like left frozen? Do you don't care about anything? I would definitely appreciate it if you could leave me a comment down below letting me know what are your thoughts and your opinions on these brand new makeup releases. But all right, so let's go ahead and let's see what has been released in the makeup world this week. And I'm gonna be moving off to the side so you guys can see a picture right here. And yeah, let's start off with the very first thing. I don't really have the time to be listing all of the sales for Black Friday on here. So I would advise you guys to just check out, you know, um, the profiles that I'm going to be linking in my description box down below or just, you know, in general, you know, if you do have a favorite brand, just have a look online if they do any Black Friday sales or something like that. But I'm just going to be focusing on the makeup releases. And so I'm going to be going on to Trend Mood 1 because that is obviously one of the most popular places to get your beauty news from. Although I do also consult a different profile that has a little bit more indie makeup. And also I think I'm going to be holding off with eyeshadow palettes until the end because I just kind of want to have them all together in one spot. So there was a post six days ago on Tramp Mood about Jouer Cosmetics. Now I have never ever used Jouer Cosmetics, but this is a set and they are gonna be releasing, I don't know if these are actually new or not. It looks like a holiday set where you kind of like get a bunch of like minis or maybe even full sizes. I'm not sure about this in one box and I've never tried Jouer Cosmetics. So I have no idea if this is a good brand or not let me know if they're actually worth it but yeah for me this is actually an easy pass they've got um, a soft focus pressed setting powder um, a complexion brush a blush and bloom stick a blush and bloom <laughs> okay stick and bare rose i do assume that's just you know this blush stick and then we have an essential lip enhancer in vanilla probably like a lip plumping product Tinted lip oils in three different shades. I just feel like that these colors, especially when it comes to the blush stick and the lip oils, they look very spring-like and that's not really what I'm looking for. So yeah, 
I'm kind of left cold and um, I really don't care about this release at all. Uh, the next thing that I'm seeing here is Bobby Brown is coming out with Powerpuff Girls collaboration and there's a lot of stuff going on in this promo picture. Now I have never watched Powerpuff Girls, don't come from me. I know of them but I don't really care about it and also I don't really care about Bobby Brown. I don't have any of the products by Bobby Brown. If there's an entire collection of products that includes an eyeshadow palette I'm still gonna do it in the beginning of the video, especially if it's a brand that I really couldn't care less about. And this eyeshadow quad... No, this looks very boring and it's so expensive. $66. No. And then a single eyeshadow is $35.50. That is way too expensive for one single eyeshadow. Like, let's be real. And these three colors... Couldn't kill us. I really couldn't kill us. And then we have this sheer finish press powder for $42. Since when is Bobby Brown that expensive? Have they always been that expensive? I don't know. I don't own anything by them. But then also the lip colors, kind of red and then like deep purple. I don't know. This is, it's not my thing. Really not. The highlighter, however, looks really pretty. I've got to say that highlighter, how much is that? $46? This Powerpuff Girl looks really angry in the pan. Mm, no, it's not for me. Although the, the highlighter, the color and stuff looks kind of stunning, you know. It looks more like a skin tone sort of highlighter. And I really, seriously, I don't need any highlighters anymore. I've got so many powder highlighters. I don't know. It's just, no, it's, it's a no for me. This entire collection is just... It's just not for me. So let's actually move on to the next thing. And this release, I need to talk about this because <sighs> this is by Beauty Blender. They are coming out with a limited edition collector set, Holidays 2023, set of 12 best-selling beauty blenders for $195. Have they lost their mind? I mean, that's insane charging $195 for sponges. Honestly, I do have two sponges by them. They are good, but they're also not my favorite sponges. And honestly, you can get like sponges for so much cheaper. You don't need this. Although I think it's a really cool idea to have all of these different colors. I honestly thought this would retail for like $50. And even for $50, it would be way too expensive. But charging almost $200 for this is just out of this world insane. So although it's kind of fun with these colors and the packaging looks nice, you know, there are so many other sponges that do work just as well. And the comments underneath the Beauty Blender post uh, are vile. People have been heated up, but in a negative way. And yeah, everyone is kind of sharing the exact same opinion than I have. Like no one's like, oh, let me actually spend $200 on some sponges. No one is saying that. And, you know, for a good reason. And there are 460 comments at the time of me filming this. So yeah, that has sparked a big controversy <laughs> on this uh, feed. So let's actually move on to the next thing. <laughs> Honestly, this one kind of made me giggle because this is by Rode and it's Hailey Bieber's brand and she's coming out with some peptide lip treatment birthday candy. All right, like this looks like a sparkling lip balm and the reason why I'm giggling at this is because of the promo picture. I honestly hope this is not a promo picture because <laughs> the picture that they posted of her it is out of focus. You can't even see the product. Like, you really can't see it. It is so weird. It's just a very strange sort of post. And honestly, the very first comment that I see on here is, yay, another lip balm. <laughs> so yeah, it's just a lip balm. Um, I am fine. I'm sorted with my lip balms. I do have my Summer Fridays lip balms that I truly adore. So I have no need to be purchasing this and this leaves me 
pretty cold. Like I'm starting to freeze. So something needs to heat me up. So moving on to the next release. And this release kind of leaves me like lukewarm. This is by NYX and they are coming out with, <laughs> it's called Duck Plump. Duck, like a duck. That's bizarre. High gloss pigment lip. I mean, what I really love about these is the color selection. There are some really interesting shades. Now, one of those actually retails for $13, which is such a good price point, considering that we just had sponges for $200. So one of them is $13. It's a vegan formula as well. And the shades look really stunning. Like there's a lot of shades that they are gonna come out with. It's kind of a cute release. I have tried a couple of things by NYX, but I don't think I've got any of the lip products. So maybe, but I'm not in a rush to get any of those right now. So the next release is actually something that I am eyeing and it's a powder bronzer. So Give Me Glow Cosmetics is gonna come out with new powder bronzers. I'm not sure if they're completely new or if they have just revamped their packaging. I do think they had already existed and maybe they have just added a couple of shades. And there is one shade called Ocean Drive and they are describing this as the most perfect pinky grayish. Ooh, and I do assume it's either the one at the top, right? Or it's the one at the bottom, right? That actually does spark my interest because you guys may know I do like a really nice cool tone grazy bronzer i really like those as long as it's not pulling orange um yeah and these have actually been repackaged so if you do want to pick something up with the old packaging they are retailing at four dollars for black friday wow the shade range looks amazing now the packaging is okay i feel like the font is a little bit all over the place it's not really my type of thing. I do love the palm trees though. I really love those. Give Me Glow Cosmetics is definitely an independent brand. I don't have any of their eyeshadows. I don't think so. I've never tried out anything by them, but this really, it does spark my interest. You know, I've got to say, I definitely do think that this is a hot release. Looks very interesting. I'm intrigued. So let's actually move on to do we have another complexion product? Okay, and then we have two new blushes from. Sam Reen's Vanity. I don't know this brand, but this is a talc-free, exceptionally smooth and hydrating powder. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I have so many powder blushes. So for something to really spark my interest, it kind of has to be more purple mauve. And this is more of like a dusty pink and an apricot, sort of peachy pink, which I'm not into at all and this one is also called saffron glow it gives radiance and a blurring effect hmm that sounds a little bit like an oxymoron if you ask me yeah i don't know this brand at all what brand is this luxury beauty to elevate south asian culture vegan cruelty free paraben free well it looks like i found a new brand to have a look at but yeah I don't know I don't think that these blush shades do trigger my interest at all and honestly that's it for the complexion products so let's move on to the more interesting sort of category let's move on to some brand new eyeshadow palettes releases so there is a new eyeshadow palette coming from Alomar Cosmetics I don't know this brand to be honest with you um this looks like a summer release i mean i don't know it's like blue gold brown and then there's also a deeper purple yeah this color story right now it just does not really speak to me that much how much is this retailing for 35 dollars that's actually okay that's literally the price of one single eyeshadow by bobby brown so here you're going to get an entire palette. I think the price point is really good, but I don't know this brand. I have no idea on this brand. Have you tried out anything by Alamar Cosmetics? I have not. I've never heard of them. So 
maybe if their formula would be great. Also, I don't really see any swatches. I think this is going to be a pass for me. I'm sort of like not even lukewarm. I'm feeling a little bit like shivering, but I'm not like freezing, if that makes any sense. So it's a pass for me. Now the next one, I might get this one, and this is by Cosmic Brushes. It's their Winter Wonderland eyeshadow palette. 20 wonderful cool toned shades inspired by a magical winter wonderland. 28 British pounds. I have already seen some people reviewing this palette, creating looks with it. It is very pretty. It's purple, teal and blue. And this one shade, what's it called? Winter Solstice. That looks like a stunning sort of multi-chrome and also the shade Frost. I mean, it looks very pretty. I love Cosmic Brushes uh, for their quality and for their price point. I have the Muse palette, the Serenity one, the Delicious Delights. Now, I did pass on the Gothic one because I do have the Serenity palette. I have the Delicious Delights and both of them do include, uh, have the inclusion of some blue and purples. And maybe I'm still gonna get this because it's Cosmic Brushes and I just love the quality. Usually I always end up loving the looks that I do with these type of palettes. They are a UK based indie brand and for this price point, I mean, it's hard to say no. It's really hard to say no with them, you know. It was already kind of difficult to uh, pass on the Gothic palette. It is very beautiful. So I might purchase this, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe I will. And on that note, we do need to talk about the new release by P. Louise in collaboration with Michaela Nogueira. Now, I am not on TikTok. I don't care about any of these TikTok influencers at all. I just want to say congrats, anyone who's doing a collaboration. It's kind of cool. So congrats to Michaela. Um, I know she has done like a Glamlight um, collaboration as well. Also, don't really have any P. Louise products. They kind of look a little bit boring to me. I'm so, so sorry. I really don't want to offend anyone. This palette is called To Have and To Hold in case you get cold. And the one thing I do want to say, this is like a 50 pan eyeshadow palette. <laughs> this is way too big. This is so big. At first glance, this really just strikes me as like a blue purple palette with neutrals and when i look at the neutrals especially the neutrals they are too repetitive and it's very heavy on the mats and then i look at the shimmers and i'm just like i'm freezing i'm so not interested in those shimmers they look kind of like meh so comparing this one to the cosmic brushes one where the shimmers are actually kind of special. This one, it's literally the opposite. I really feel like also there aren't that many deeper shades and it's just very repetitive. This is way too large. This is just too big of a palette for me to be like, oh, this is the palette where I want to try P. Louise. P. Louise also always has this very bulky packaging that made me not really want to purchase from them. And all of their color stories are just not very inspiring to me personally. However, I do want to say that I love a good blue and neutral palette combined. So I think it's actually a really cool concept in terms of the color selection. However, I feel like just the shades that they chose to put in this palette are all too light and they are very much repetitive. Like there are so many shades that kind of just give me the same vibe and this could have been just brought down it looks like a massive palette i don't have space to store any of that it's just you know a pass for me it's just too big too repetitive and just not special enough you know it's just kind of like meh. <laughs> so yeah that's that's um a no from me. I'm very cold when I'm looking at this actually. So let's move on to the next one. So the next palette release is by Give Me Glow Cosmetics, the exact same brand where I was just talking about their new bronzer releases. This does not really spark my interest that much. 
The outer packaging is really pretty though. What's this called? Mystical Garden. Feels like spring, you guys. It does not really feel like a winter release. I'm not saying that every eyeshadow palette has to have a winter theme, you know, but this looks very much like spring and I'm not in the mood for it. I've never tried giving me Glow Cosmetics. I've only heard good things, but I'm intrigued to actually try out their bronzes. But this release, this color story is just, personally, it's not up my alley. So yeah, this is a pass for me. Another palette that I do want to talk about though, that really sparks my interest like a lot. And this is by Ansley Rain Cosmetics. Now I do have a palette by them, Midwinter Dream. It almost reminds me a little bit of that palette, but oh, this is so beautiful. This palette is called Lens of Enchantment. I don't know when this is coming out exactly, but this is so beautiful. This is maybe the perfect winter release. This one has four dreamy multi-chromes, four magical hollow chromes, four shimmery duo chromes and 13 velvety mattes in our refined formula. <laughs> I know this is going to be expensive. There is no price listed on here just yet, but this looks magical. This looks beautiful. This looks like a piece of makeup that I would love reaching for. It looks so stunning. I might snatch this one, depending on the price point. Now, if this is over a hundred dollars, then I don't know if I want to snatch it. I want to, but can I? I don't know. I honestly don't know. And I also want to talk about this one because this is launching as I'm filming right now. And also the Cosmic Brushes palette is launching today, Friday, 17th November. So by the time you're seeing this, these palettes are already available, but this one, I want to get this one. This is by What's Up Beauty and it's their Dragon Eye Eyeshadow Palette. Now I have seen already some videos on this palette and this outside packaging, stunning. And the shades, like the swatches and just this entire palette, the color story, stunning. I am actually wearing this brand What's Up Beauty on my eyes right now. I did create the look with their Geodes palette right here. Such a stunning palette. I actually filmed this look so I might like be posting this one uh, as a shorts on my YouTube shorts tab very very soon. The mattes are definitely more on the neutral leaning side. We have some peachier undertones, a little bit of pink and also some purple which I, I love. But then also these shimmers, they are insane. They look so pretty. Well, it's $45. It's talc-free, clean, cruelty-free, sustainable, made in Italy. It looks amazing. And I love their quality. Also love the look that I, I just created with their other palette. I also have their Monsoon palette. Quality is top, top notch. So when I saw this release, I was like boiling inside. I was like, I need to get this. Okay, so this is the last post that I do want to talk about. And this is also the one that really excites me personally the most. And this is by Unearthly Cosmetics. You guys know I love Unearthly Cosmetics. Can they please stop? Can they stop coming out with amazing color stories, amazing palettes? Because my wallet is crying. And this one, it just looks like a freaking dream. This looks so beautiful. So this is actually their holiday release. It's called Dreamer. I mean the palette is called Dreamer. I don't know if that's also the name of the entire holiday collection but as of right now when I'm looking at this color story this is just so up my alley. This is so stunning. Oh my gosh. Oh we have a creamy lipstick formula and these shades are stunning. The shade Dreamer. This looks like a taupey brown with a little bit of like a purplish undertone. I want to try that out. I want to try out their lips. Did, have they ever done lipsticks? I don't think so. I might, this might be a new formula by them. And also they're going to come out with highlighters. Now, I am not the biggest fan of unearthly highlighters, to be honest. Unless they have changed their formula, their highlighters are very glittery. I really don't like that. I prefer my highlighters to just give me like a wet glow, like an intense wet glow, but I don't want to glitter. I don't want to glitter on my face. So the highlighter, although the shades are stunning, 
One of them looks a little bit more golden, the other one a little bit more peachy. And then there was one that looks a little bit more periwinkle, almost like lilac-y. They look stunning, but I'm not sure if this is the standard sort of formula that um, Unearthly has. Uh, this is not going to be for me. The highlights are always just a pass for me. But this entire collection, Holiday 23 collection, is on pre-order for $130. So those are all of the items, you know. Um, the eyeshadow palette, the lipsticks, and the highlighter palette. Now, honestly, I would just want to have one of the shades. I just want the shade Dreamer in their lipstick formula. And I just want... This eyeshadow palette, though, this eyeshadow palette is so stunning. Like, oh my gosh. So this might be really my favorite eyeshadow palette release as of right now. And I want it, but I don't want the entire collection. I really hope she's going to release that eyeshadow palette separately and then make these lipsticks available separately. Because otherwise I might be just a little bit upset. I kind of don't like it if brands do these collection these boxes for so much money and then you end up just liking two products out of an entire collection that's not the point of picking up an entire collection okay i mean unless you love everything and you want the entire collection go for it because i can only imagine that you know this quality is spot on because everything i've tried out by unearthly is just so so beautiful and yeah, this release is really, it's my favorite one. But yeah, those were all of the releases that I wanted to touch upon in this video. I am definitely the most interested by the What's Up Beauty palette, by Cosmic Brushes Winter Wonderland, and then also by the Unearthly Dreamer palette. If that is going to be released as a standalone palette, I'm definitely going to snatch that. And also the Ansley Rain Land of Enchantment one, depending on the price point. So those are the four palettes that, you know, intrigue me the most. So in general, I do feel like the releases of this week were kind of like, all right. Some of the eyeshadow palettes were definitely amazing, but, you know, for complexion products, there wasn't, you know, much that intrigued me at all. But that's also good for my wallet. So please do share with me what are your thoughts on these new makeup releases? Is there anything that you really want to try out that, you know, I might have not been super excited by? Do drop me a comment down below. And if you did enjoy the video or if you just found it entertaining, why not give it a like and also hit the subscribe button and ring the bell in order to stay notified about my upcoming uploads. And until next time, please do take care. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.